Number 10, a 0.15 kilograms particle moves along an x-axis according to x, which is a function of time, equals to minus 13 plus 2 times t plus 4 times t squared minus 3 times t to the third with x in meters and t in seconds. In unit vector notation, what is the net force acting on the particle at t equals to 3.4 seconds? So we know from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces, which is the net force, is equal to mass times acceleration. So we want to find this term over here. So in order to find this term over here, we need the mass, and we know the mass, but we don't know the acceleration. So we have to find the acceleration so we can find the net force acting on the particle. So how do we find the acceleration? Remember that the acceleration is the second derivative of the position in respect to time. So if we derive this equation over here two times, we find the acceleration. So the first derivative is the velocity. Let's do that. The first derivative of the position in this case would be 2 plus 8t minus 9t squared. And the derivative of this function over here which is the acceleration, is the second derivative of the position, would be 8 minus 18 times t. So this is the acceleration over here. So we can find the net force by just uh, finding the acceleration at this time over here. So the acceleration when t is equal to 3.4 is equal to 8 minus 18 times 3.4 and this gives us let's see this let's make this calculation over here this is equal to 8 uh, minus 18 times 3.4 and this gives us minus 53.2 meters per square second so this is the acceleration of the particle when t is equal to 3.4 seconds so the force acting on the, the net force acting on the particle is equal to the mass 0 0.15 times minus 53.2 and this gives us let's see gives us minus 7.98 newtons but we want the force in the unit vector notation. This is the, abs this is the absolute value of the force. But we know that the particle moves along the x-axis. So the force should be in the x-axis as well. So the, the vector f is equal to minus 7.98 in the i direction. And don't forget to include the unit, which is newtons. And that's it.